Jin Jin. Jin Jin and welcome to Geriatric Mom. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. So the theme for today is the Pride. We're obviously in Brighton and Pride is a huge thing. Yeah. And the nursery is just covered in rainbow flags. And I think I think for, for the kids to grow up in here, Mia was asking a few months ago, he was like, what, when's Christmas? When is Pride? It's like, it's, he loves it. He loves it. So we thought we would talk about that. So what do you guys do? What, what have you discussed at home? Well, we've of course, we've got the rainbow flags everywhere. So we uh, talk about what the rainbow flag means. Yeah. Like I was kind of uh, explaining it as in, like, think about your friends. Maybe you are green, maybe uh, Noah is red, maybe Otis is yellow, and you know, you're all different colors, mm. but you're all kind of the same, and you're mm. all, all um, equal, really. Um, I think they're quite young to, to kind of understand the struggle of Stonewall and everything like that, so um, that's not really come up. I think it's more more about the love and mm. acceptance. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, I mean, at that age, anyway. They preschool. There's no prejudice, and I think I'm I'm fully expecting um, some nastiness to come when they go to school, mm. and that's when you obviously have to tackle it and and you know ask why would you talk in that that way about somebody else and um, and you know how would you feel if somebody mm. spoke like that about you. What's love? Um, I love um, you. How do you know you love me? Because you look so beautiful. Who else do you love? Um, d Daddy. Can you decide who, do you, who you love? I know what you mean. Um, like, I want to love... Theo. What do you think love is? Um, something that means you kiss and cuddle. You kiss and cuddle? Yeah, like mummy kisses and cuddles you and cuddles daddy. Mm. When you get older, mm. so are you going to fall in love? No, I want to stay with you forever. I oh, know, you can stay with me forever. Some some people could might have two mummies. Or, or maybe they might have two daddies. Or yeah. two nannies and granddads. Or two nannies and granddads, yeah. And that's really good as well, isn't it? What's, what's pride? Uh, when we get rainbow, rainbow stuff out. What happens when it's pride? Um, um, we be nice to each other. Yeah, it's important to be nice to each other, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Pride. Mia loves the rainbows. I think all kids love the rainbows. So we've done like a lot of kind of positive rainbow themed activities. We've done a rainbow flag and Lego from Lego. Mm. Um, when we're in a bus, we like recently we've been doing like spot the rainbows because all the all the shops have got rainbows out. And even in nursery, they do like face painting. Today yeah. they had their pride selfies with their face paint on, yeah. which I think is lovely. And they do like fingerprint, like face uh, face printing, hand prints and footprints with different colors. Yeah, uh, you know, you can just read books about how it's okay to be different. Actually, I might put some some recommendations and yeah. uh, underneath here under the video some of the books that we've read that we thought were great and. Um, it's not necessarily about being gay, but it's about just being, be, being slightly different or being yourself. I mean, Mia came home from nursery the other day and he was like, oh, I told the nursery that I have two daddies. And I was like, really? What, what, what happened to me? He was like, well, because I just wanted to fit in because he's got oh. some friends with two mummies and two daddies. So I thought that was the sweetest thing. Yes. Obviously trying to set an example, celebrate pride, celebrate people being different and because the kids will copy you and yeah. um, Go and see the parade. Yeah. And make it Looking a joy, joyous occasion. Yeah. So I'm actually going to be on the parade. And, and when I asked Noah, what does pride mean? Oh, mummy's on it. <laughs> <laughs> mummy's going to be dancing. So. Pride is you. Yeah. You, know, you never know what they're going to grow up to be. They might grow up to be gay. They might grow up to be straight. They might grow up to be she. You know, mm. it's, it's, I think it's important that they know from the young age that it doesn't matter what you are. It's whatever and also you are, that it's, it's fine that we are accepting of whatever yeah. and everything. It's fine if you're straight. I'll take it. <laughs> Mia's 
really excited about Bright and um, he's been talking about it for weeks and that's great but we will send him away for most of the weekend. <laughs> he, we'll let him watch the parade and after that he's going to Granny's so we can have a party. Mm. So I feel like a really bad mom because last year he came to the street party for a bit and he loved it. But mm, it's just how it is. That's how it is. You need to have your party. Well, I mean, mine's, of course, it was my graduation last week. You've had one of these before where you just have a party after a party after a party. Yeah. And I've been tired and, and basically Noah's been eating spaghetti all week. Mm. And he said to me, what am I having for dinner? Is it biscotti again? <laughs> and I was like, uh, oh, you nutritionist, yeah. you. <laughs> well, luckily we've come here today and we're having, they're having pizza, so. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the bride. Mm.